Chloe, so today I am doing my California haul and I just got back from LA a couple days ago and I wanted to show you what I got. So first of all, most of you are probably wondering why I was in LA and I was in LA for Generation Beauty which was like a conference for beauty gurus and it was in LA Live and I went with Rachel, RCL Beauty 101 and Mandy, Makeup by Mandy 24 and Saray, Crazy Ray Ray and we all stayed in a hotel room together and I vlogged the entire trip, so if you want to see those vlogs, you can check them out on my vlog channel, Viva La Chloe, or I will also link my channel below so you can check all of those out. So I did like a bunch of days of those, so if you want to see what I did in California, you can just watch those. So right before I went to California, I went to MAC and I picked up two things, and I know this isn't like part of my California, but I just wanted to show you it because I just got it. So yeah, I went to MAC and I got a brush cleaner, which I have needed for a while. I have just been keeping my brushes too dirty because I ran out of this. You can always just use soap and water, but I like using the brush cleaner because it's easier. And then also I got a red lipstick and you guys probably know I don't have a red lipstick which is insane for me because I'm like a beauty girl so you'd think I'd have a red lipstick so I had to get one because every tutorial where I need a red I end up using like my red face paint on my lips or like a lip stain I always need them for tutorials and then I just don't have them so I finally picked up one and this is just a bright red is in the color ruby woo and it's a matte and I like matte better because it's just more like strong and powerful okay so I got those two things for MAC and then now we can start my actual California stuff so first I went to Brandy Melville and I have been waiting like the whole year to go to Brandy Melville for this not the whole year but for a while to go to Brandy Melville because I am obsessed with Brandy Melville and I only buy it when I go to like California or New York because I don't have a Brandy Melville where I live. So I just kind of went Brandy crazy. So first I got this skirt and I've been wanting a like cute little um, Brandy skirt for a while because I love their skirts. And this one's like a nice uh, pastel blue which I really love. So yeah, it's just a nice little flowy skirt. But just a warning, these skirts like do not cover much. They're very, very tiny. So like I wore this, um, I wore this like the second day of Generation Beauty and oh, it was just blowing everywhere. So if you buy this, I would make sure to wear spandex under it when you wear it out because that was just, it was really hard for me to keep everything, you know, covered. I was like holding my skirt down like Marilyn Monroe the entire time. The next thing I got was this shirt and it's the new style of shirts that they have, which I love this style, and I think I might order more because it's so comfy, and you can literally wear it with anything, and it's this these tiny little shirts with the cutouts on the sides, and this one says, stressed, depressed, but well-dressed, and disclaimer, I am not depressed. A lot of people, like, I wore this on Insta, like, I posted a picture on Instagram with this, and a lot of people commented, and they're like, you are not depressed, girl, and I'm like, yes, I know, I just thought it was a cute shirt because... I am stressed a lot of the time and I think I'm still well dressed while I'm being stressed so yeah I'm not the depressed part I've never been the depressed part but that's just a disclaimer because a lot of you guys were like mm, girl you don't know what depressed is and I was like yeah I know <laughs> but I just thought it was a cute shirt and then I got another one of that style and this one has these like moons on it and it's just like has palm trees and a sunset and I thought this was so cute and I think I will order more of these online because these shirts, like, I have found myself, like, wanting to wear these with everything, like, jeans or skirts or shorts or anything. Like, you can literally wear these with anything. And they're the softest shirts you will ever feel. <laughs> then I got this dress, and this is called the Bethan dress or Bethan dress or something. And it's just, like, a plain black dress in the front, but then in the back it has this cool, like, crisscross thing. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. And... When I got this in the store, I didn't realize that the hem on the bottom is kind of like diagonal. It's like didn't like they didn't cut this one right or something. So I think I'm going to email them and try to see if they can send me a new one. Also, I got a maxi skirt and I've been wanting a maxi skirt forever. And yeah, I got one so I'm really excited. So it's just plain black long maxi skirt and there's not much to it. It's just plain and long and really soft as usual. Then the last thing I got was this sweatshirt and this is like 
tie-dye and I think it's so cool and it's just so comfy so like I would wear this on like a rainy day and recently it's been so rainy where I live like every single day it's been raining and it's summer which is really annoying but there's like a tropical storm going on so yeah this is um what the sweater looks like and I think it's so cool so that is all I got from Brandy and then I went to this little boutique called Irene's Closet, I think that's what it's called, let me check. It's called Irene's Story, and I got this dress, and I literally have been wanting... Oh, I have to get back on my knees because I'm too short. Okay. So I've literally been wanting a dress like this forever. It's like, oh, it's just like my dream dress. It's all like silky down, and then has like an open back. So it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it's, it's long, it's down to the floor, and it's this baby pink color, or it's more like a dusty baby pink. And the straps like crisscross in the back, so it goes like this. So the front's just normal, but the back is like an open back and it's crisscross. And I love this dress, like it is just, it's such a princess dress and I just really love it so much. So that was from Irene's story. Also, I went to H&M and I got this purse and this purse is like a very iffy item. I feel like not everyone will like this, but I really liked it because it's very like hippie and cool and... I think it's just so cute, like it's just really cool, it has all these fringes and yeah, there's not much of a big inside, but I thought this was cool if I was just like going out to dinner or it's very like festival-y, I don't know, I really like it. It's it's different, but I like it. Then I went to Forever 21 and I got some accessories. Forever 21 in California is just so much better than mine, mine is just not good, but oh my god. So this story, I got this elephant necklace and I've been looking for, no, not that. So I got this elephant necklace, and I literally have been looking for, like, a little elephant necklace for a really long time. So that's what it looks like. First, I spotted this one, this necklace, which was a gold elephant necklace, but the elephant's, like, flat, and this one, the elephant's, like, 3D. And I spent, like, 20 minutes debating over if I should get the 3D silver one or the gold flat one, because I loved them both so much, and I could not decide. So then, like, finally, Rachel, like, grabbed the gold one for me, and she's like... Okay, I'm just going to get this one. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. It's not fair. I can't decide. So then I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just get the silver one. So I ended up buying the silver one. And then as we were walking out the store, Rachel, like, gives this to me. And she's like, here, I never wanted it. But I just wanted you to stop, like, taking forever to decide over the two of them. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. But now I have two elephant necklaces. So, yeah, that was really nice of Rachel. And now I got two. I also got a silver necklace with these like blue arrows at the bottom and I thought this one was really cool and I like longer necklaces. Then I got this headband and I've been looking for like a headband like this for a while. It's one that goes across your head like that and you guys probably saw this in my California like summertime video. Rope mixed with metal chain and I think it's really cool. So then I went to Urban Outfitters and I got these sunnies and I thought they were really cool. Should I film the rest of the video in these? Probably not. But they are really cool and they have all these little flowers across them and I think they're just so cute. Do you want to try them on? I'll put them on you. Hello. Wow. This is a nice effect, isn't it? <laughs> so when we arrived at Generation Beauty, they gave us all this bag. And I was confused at first to why they gave us this bag, but then I realized at the end that they gave us like a bunch of free makeup. So that's why I have this bag. But first, I went to, we got to like go to all these little stations and give them these little tickets and then they would give us like the free makeup. So we went, we went to the NYX station and I got the All I've Ever Wanted box from NYX and it comes with 72 eyeshadows, 8 face colors, 1 face powder, blah blah blah, it goes on and on. But yeah, it's really cool. And I also went to Anastasia and I got this clear brow gel which was really nice that they were handing out because I have needed a new clear brow gel. And then I went to the Proactive station and I got the Proactive Soothing Primer. So I think you put this on before you put your foundation on. I went to the Temp2 station and they gave us this little clear makeup bag, which is really good because like if something spills, it's like a good plasticky one. And also they had a primer in there too, so I got two primers. Woo! And then also from Proactive, they gave us a green tea moisturizer. And then I went to the Tact to you station and they gave me this lip gloss which is actually extremely pigmented it's like a red lip gloss 
and I went to the BH Cosmetics and they gave me a liquid eyeliner which was really cool because I need a new one so it just looks like that. So I will tell you guys how that one turns out. And then at Benefit they were giving out these little They're Real mascaras so I got a mini They're Real which is really good because I love mini makeup things. They're so cute. At the City Color Cosmetics Station I got um, this lip balm and it's like a nice pink lip balm. Everyone in my family is just screaming right now. I don't know why but I'm really sorry about that. Then I went to the Makeup Forever station and they gave me an Aqua Eyes eyeliner in black. And then I got this Pixie Mascara and I'm pretty sure this is full size large lash mascara from London Soho New York I got this brush and it's a foundation brush when I went to the healthy sexy hair station they gave me this beach spray I think it's like a salt spray that makes your hair like beachy waves when I went to the Pacifica station they gave me a natural color quench lip tint in guava berry I went to Nicole by OPI and they gave me this bright yellow nail polish NYX gave me this pretty violet eyeliner and then I went to the bare mineral station and they gave me this little eyeshadow duo which was really nice and this is so cute it just has these two eyeshadow colors and I think it's so adorable just looks like that so I'm so thankful for all these brands for giving all these products and I thought it was super sweet and I just had an amazing time at Generation Beauty and in California and I love California so much and yeah that is the end of my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later bye